Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to another Premier League video if you want to call it that. Today we're going to review my Premier League table that I went way back at the start of August I believe, just before the start of the season. But anyway guys, if you enjoyed this video, there's a question coming up at the end as well that I need to hear from you guys. So please watch all the way up to the end. But anyway guys, it's going to be a big crap fun that you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching and let's go. So we're going to start off with the bottom three as we always do. The bottom three I went with Brentford, Burnley and Newcastle. Brentford did have a really good season. Their first ever Premier League season in the Premier League. Finishing 13th overall. I think for that for Brentford for a new stadium as well. Which obviously takes time to settle into. Ain't a bad season at all. It's you know one of the really good things that I think Brentford have done. Fair play to Brentford. And we also look, I look forward to seeing you in the Premier League next season. 19th, I went with Burnley and they finished in 18th in the relegation zone. Now, Burnley for me, really, did they have to go down? Do I deserve to go down? Their big philosophy was that they couldn't score enough goals. And I do find it a bit unfair to shuck a Sean Dyche. Please feel free to put that down in the comments below. What do you think? But yeah. Burnley did go down in the 18th, so Burnley will be playing Championship football for next season. And, f you know, do I deserve it? I'll leave it up to you guys. In 18th, I went with Newcastle, who did finish a massive 11th. I think they lost 14 games before the takeover. Some, some, it was over 14 or 7, one of them numbers. And, you know, they did finish an 11th. Obviously, the money talks in this football now it's just one of the unfortunate things but fair play to Newcastle for coming back and finishing as high as 11th maybe two three years time who knows maybe a top 14 but they still got a long way to go will they be able to recuperate in that season we're gonna have to wait and see so next we go 17th to 11th and 17th I went with Norwich who did finish bottom of the Premier League in 20th spot Norwich are the yo-yo club that everyone's calling them. <coughs> you know, now we've got Fulham coming up. And Norwich gone back down. I think the last time Fulham and Norwich actually played each other in the league was 2018. So that sort of says it all. It really is a really frustrating thing for Norwich where they can't su sustain themselves as a Premier League club. Finished in 20th. 16th problem with Watford and they finish in 19th. Now, if you are a regular viewer of my channel, even if you're not, I did actually go to the Watford Burnley game at Fickery Tried and you can now catch a vlog on my channel. And the title pretty much sums it up. Watford played brilliant first half football when I went to watch it against Burnley. And second half they flipped, they flopped. And you could tell why they're going down in 19th place. It really was a game of two hours for Watford when I went on that day. Uh, obviously, you know, I, obviously if you're a Watford fan, please feel free to put your comments down below how you think the season went overall. And the only one disappointing thing I found about Watford is they didn't make no changes when they could have done and maybe used up a bit of time. But hey, nothing can be done now. And they finished down in uh, 19th spot. And we'll be playing championship football for next season. 15th, I went with Crystal Palace, who did finish in 12th. I'm sorry if the table looks a bit of a mess, by the way, but I will uh, straighten it out for you. Uh, they did finish in 12th. Was that a fair enough result for Palace overall? Maybe. Um, obviously, if you're a Palace fan, put your comments down below. Um, but I think 12th after maybe a little sticky... I think that is sticky start anyway. But, you know, probably fair play to Palace for finishing in 12th. In 15th, uh, 14th, sorry, I went with Southampton, who did finish in 15th. I did go to Southampton a couple of times this, uh, last season, twice in the FA Cup. Uh, one when they played Coventry and St Mary's, and then twice when they played Bank City. Two different styles of football, and they are not the only club that I think play two very styles of football throughout the season. And we'll get down to that when we get further down. But they did finish in 15th. And um, who knows, maybe some say lucky to stay up. 13th, I went with Wolverhampton, who did finish in 10th. 
Uh, Wolverhampton maybe had a bit of a dipping spell. Um, you know, maybe underachieved the season under what people were uh, expecting. But it's one of them things with Wolverhampton where if you don't really kick on, you do find yourself just inside the top half coming the end of the season. In 12th, I went with Aston Villa, who finished a full team. Yet again, maybe just underachieving under Steven Gerrard. They have made a you know, couple of signings that be coming in when the transfer window officially opens. I think it's the 1st of June it officially opens. So yeah, Villa maybe will do a bit better next season. In 11th, I went with Arsenal, who did finish in 5th. Um, I'll try not to say this with a smirk on my face. But yet again, it's thanks to Brighton why the top four finished the way it did. And I'll explain a bit more when we go a bit further up the table. Now we go for the top 10 to 5th. So 10th, I went with my club, Brighton. And finishing ninth, a very good season for Brighton, I do believe. You know, it's my own opinion. Please feel free to put your opinions down in the comments below. I believe Brighton's finishing 10th, uh, sorry, 9th. It's brilliant. Just unfortunate with Brighton. We played a couple of scrappy games. The defeat to Burnley at home, draw to Norwich at home and away. They had probably points that could cost us just to finish outside of Europe. But a brilliant season for my club Brighton. I'm interested to see what they do next season. Um, I'm just hoping we can maybe do a bit better. If not equal in ninth, I'll be happy with. But let's see what happens with Brighton. Ninth, I went with Leagues. Now, Leagues finished in 17th. Just about finished uh, above the relegation zone. Went down to the final day with Leagues United. You know, sacking their manager up, bringing a new one in and just managing to survive. You know, what is that going to lead to? Who knows, let's see what Leagues do next season. In 8th, I went with Spurs, who finished in 4th. Now, this is why Brighton play a big part, not only in the top 4, as well, they play a big part in the top 6. Now, Brighton beat Arsenal away from home. They also beat Spurs away from home. They're 6 points there, and that's why... My, some of it went down to the final day of the season. Obviously, you, some of you can say about other results as well. But, you know, being a Brighton fan, that is a big key. Um, why it finished the way it did. Uh. Excuse me. In 7th, I went with Everton, who finished 16th. Just above the relegation zone again. You know, it did take... Um, I think it's the second to last game they won. And that kept their heads above the water and made sure they were playing Premier League football again that season. But just about finished their heads above the water. In sixth, I went with West Ham, who finishes seventh now. Yet again, Brighton had a big part in that bit of space between uh, West Ham and Man United. And why do I play such a big part in that? Is because Brighton did beat Man United. At, old, um, at the NX Stadium, and yeah, you can catch my vlog on the channel. And they did beat West Ham at the NX on the last day of the season. West Ham needed to win that game to get into Europa League, but West Ham have got to settle for Europa League Conference. Yet again, that's Brighton. But fair play to Brighton for pulling off some really good results this season. As I said, I really am happy the way Brighton finished. Now we go on to fifth. Liverpool, who did finish in second, who did lose in the Champions League final, and they lost in another final as well. I think it's about three finals they lost in and failed to score. But not a bad season for Liverpool. Winning the League Cup, I believe they won the FA Cup. So two trophies out of a five-trophy season ain't too bad um, on a Liverpool perspective. Looking forward to seeing what they can do next season, and let's just see what happens. In fourth, I went with Leicester, who finished in eighth. More of a disappointment there in um, Leicester, if I'm being brutally honest with you. I think they really did have a disappointing season. Um, no one for fourth to second, sorry, I just forgot to mention. Um, 
So yeah, that's where Leicester finish up. In third, I went with Chelsea, got us spot on. Now, they play two very different styles of football. Yet again, you can catch the vlog on my channel where I did go to Chelsea versus Malmo at Stamford Bridge. Uh, Chelsea were very dominant on that night. And then some, it looked like it went in the switch end of it, if you want to say that. It, you know, they play very messy, very sloppy football from that period on. At that period when I was up at Chelsea, I thought Chelsea uh, winning the title, but obviously it didn't happen. But yeah, it's a very iffy season for Chelsea. I'm interested to see what they do next season. In second, I went with Man United, finishing sixth. On to their thing I want to sit manager now and coming in after uh, Rafael Fran failed in his period. Uh, Temporary period. So I've got the sack. It looks all very messy at United. Will this new manager do the job? And uh, get that down in the comments below as well. Now we've just gone to the top spot. Uh, Man City, I went for to win the title. And, and they did. Um, yet again, it did go down to the final dad this season between Liverpool and Man City. And Man City just scraped it. So they did finish top of the Premier League table for the 21 slash 22 season and um, right the question i need to ask you all do you want to see this return for next season put it down in the comments below and also show him uh, showing it by liking this video and um, but yeah do you want to receive this turn uh, before the beginning of next season let me know in the comments below and also by liking this video but anyway guys we're going to bring this video to an end so guys you know what to do give us a big front thumbs up you enjoy it subscribe for more thanks for watching Shut down.